Hi guys, you are on Warren24.com and today we are going to assemble the Samsung Galaxy M32. First of all, we need to warm the surface of the back cover up to 60 Celsius degree or 140 degree Fahrenheit. To do this, we use a heating mat. As you can see, we already have the temperature set. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can move on to the assembly. So, we need to take out the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool, put it in the hole, and we pull out the tray for the two SIM cards and memory card. Moving on to opening the back cover. In our case, we use a plastic film. Carefully insert it into the hole between the back cover and the middle cover and gently slide it along the edges. We move the film slowly, we also need to be careful in the area of the cameras. We have the back cover open, on the back cover we have part of the flashlight and the gasket. Then we need to disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector to make sure we don't forget and accidentally damage the cable later. Moving on to unscrewing the screws, we have to use a Philips H3O 1.5mm screwdriver. In our case, some screws got stuck, so we had to pull them out additionally with tweezers. And we have to detach the middle cover. To do this, we will use a plastic film for a moment to disconnect some of the clips and get a small gap in order to use a thicker tool later. Carefully go all the way around detaching the middle cover. We have to be as careful as possible in the area of the fingerprint sensor and the side buttons. So we have detached the middle cover and there are contact transmission lines and pads for antennas, fingerprint sensor and the speaker. And then we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metallic tool. We can also disconnect the connectors and put aside the interboard cable. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector. Unscrew one screw using a Philips H3O 1.5mm screwdriver and gently at the edge of the board we pry it up and remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, headphone jack and other elements on the other side. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector on the motherboard and we move on to detaching the cameras. First detach the front camera and then detach the two rear cameras and put them aside. After that, we unscrew one screw which secure the motherboard using Philips H3O 1.5mm screwdriver. And we can gently pick up the motherboard by the edge of the board and remove it. Then we turn the motherboard over and detach the two rear cameras. And we move on to detaching the battery. In our case, we didn't know if there were any holes in the display model frame under the battery, so we didn't use isopropyl alcohol to detach it to avoid 
accidentally damaging the display. We gently slip the film in the place where we can do it and separate the battery. In our case, it took about 6 minutes to remove the battery. Slowly we remove the battery and slip the plastic film deeper and deeper. We can already see the gap there. We can insert the plastic tool and lift the battery slightly to make it easier to work. Please note that we are not trying to pry or detach the battery too much. We just need to lift it up a little bit. If we push hard on the tool, we might damage the battery, the display frame or any other components on the frame. We have already separated two thirds of the battery and we can use the plastic tool to try to lift it off. And we can definitely detach it. Gently lift up and pull the battery out. We can see on the display frame how the battery was glued. That is all for now. Thank you for watching and we'll see you around. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.